We've looked at a few blades from the folks at Odin Wolf before. In today's Sharp Saturday video, we're gonna take a look at a couple of smaller blades. The Odin Wolf W Mini in Saber Grind and Scandi. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me for another Sharp Saturday video where it's Saturday, we take a look at something sharp. And like I said, today we got a couple of somethings sharp and these are the Odin Wolf W Mini knives in Saber Grind and Scandi Grind. And you may notice these uh, have a certain resemblance to maybe another really popular bushcrafty kind of style knife, but um, these have a couple of differences we're gonna talk about. Um, but my first impression is these knives that I really like them. So far I've been very pleased with the stuff that Odin Wolf has sent me to review. And um, I have high hopes for these, but we're gonna take these down to the old stump top show you some close-ups, talk about the specs of these things, and to get to doing some of that knife stuff right after this word from, you know it, today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by my friends at XS Sites, the fastest site in any light. I've been using XS Sites for a lot of years, and it's really cool to have them as a channel sponsor. XS Sites are made in the USA in the great state of Texas, and you can save 15% on your order at their website by using the coupon code SOP15. Okay, we're going to try to get you close because these are small knives, but these are the Odin Wolf W Minis. And we've got a couple of different versions, as I said. These things are available in several different color combinations. We've got a black on black and a green on black here. Um, let's just talk about these things. First of all, they're both very similar. The only difference between these two is going to be the blade style. So they both have a two and a quarter inch blade of D2 steel with a Rockwell hardness of 60 and a three and a quarter inch textured TPE handle. These are full tang knives with just an overmolded handle, which is really cool. Overall length of five and a half inches. They weigh just 2.57 ounces and both have these polypropylene sheaths that have this really cool little belt or pocket clip on them. They also come with lanyards to be used as a neck knife. As I said, they either have a saber grind with this little fault swedge here and a, and a little flat part here, which hopefully is scrapey or a standard Scandi grind with a hopefully scrapey spine there. Again, different color options. These things are $19.90 with free shipping on Odin Wolf's website. You can save an additional 10% using the coupon code SOP10. So, let's uh, get to doing some knife stuff now. And to be honest with you, we're not even gonna try to baton anything in these. They're not really made for batoning. It wouldn't make any sense whatsoever to do that. It'd be foolish to, to, to try to baton with these little knives. It'd be completely foolish. So uh, why would we do something like that, right? Unless maybe we needed to get a fire and all our wood was kind of wet on the outside. And then we might feel the need to do something foolish with our knives. <laughs> so there's that. And now we got, her, we got her down there. Let's see what kind of carving we can do. First, we'll try the, the uh, saber grind. See what the saber grind does for us. I like it's a very good saber grind. This thing actually does. <laughs> well, you know what we forgot to do? Uh, the internationally standard sharpness test, the redneck sharp test. So let's try that first before we get any more work done. And oh my gosh. Okay, wow. Okay, that's shave a yak sharp, and that's the saber grind. Let's try the Scandi. <laughs> yep, that too. So. Uh, a plus, a, a double A plus for the redneck sharpness test. Back to the saber grind for the curls. This wood's kind of got a little rot, rotten areas in it, but there's that. Now let's try the Scandi grind. Try a different, different section of the wood here, just to be, to be fair. And of course, the Scandi grind carves really well because that's what Scandi grinds are famous for. Yeah. 
both do pretty well at that. So, in the interest of time, we're gonna call this one good to go. And let's get us a piece of this here fat wood, because you know me, right? <laughs> See how well the fat wood will scrape. We'll start with the uh, back, little part of the spine back here for the uh, saber grind. And honestly, it doesn't scrape the fat wood very well, to be honest with you. Let's try the Scandi grind. It's not scraping the fat wood very well either. Maybe a different piece of fat wood. Let's get a bigger piece. Here's a bigger piece, let's see. So it is scraping, but um, not great to be honest with you, it's not great. That doesn't necessarily bode well for the uh, next part of the test. Try this back in the skin. Okay, so there's with a nice little edge on the fat wood, a sharp, sharp corner of it. The uh, saber grind does okay with that little spot back there. So now, let's get my second favorite ferro rod out. Start with the saber grind, see if we can get some sparks off of it. All right, not bad, let's try the Scandi now. Scandi does not have as sharp a spine, I don't think. Let's try it. Let's just go with the Sabre first. All right, very good there. Carve you out. Let's go with the Scandi now. See if we can get something going with the Scandi. And we got it, got it with the Scandi too. So, there you go. Did I mention I like science? Chug Norris walks in other people's sleep. Okay, so that was some of the practical testing with these little knives and um, did really, really well on the redneck sharpness test. I mean, like crazy, crazy good. Okay on carving, pretty good. Um, Scandi grind did great. The, this, the, the edge is just great. I, if when, usually when a knife does well in the redneck sharp test, it also does well in the carving. Hmm. I wonder if there's a correlation there. Anyway, to, um, <laughs> not as great on the scraping, I didn't think, but it actually, both of them got a fire going with the ferro rod, so you can't fall too much there. Very, very comfortable. Got a big enough grip handle, at least to get a, a good useful grip on it, but it's very small, very compact, like a great neck knife. Uh, very, and just a really comfortable little, little knife. But as you know here at Survival on Purpose, we're all about the science. To that end, we maintain a state-of-the-art cutting edge knife testing facility. And one of the scientific tests we, we, we like to do here, I think it's kind of like an internationally standard uh, aerodynamic balance test. We use the uh, balance orientation and rotation device. So to be honest with you, um, I've really had mixed success testing with small knives like this, but we're gonna um, give this one a shot because we would, be, we would be completely unscientific if we didn't, right? So let's do that. Let me just uh, clip this, these sheets on my belt here. I'm on my pocket, pocket here, actually. See what we can do. Might have to get a little closer to you. Is that okay? Oh, that one bounced farther than I threw it. Let's try again. It's all about the calibration. We're gonna to endeavor to persevere. I'm not doing so good, am I? <laughs> okay, we'll cut it off there. Okay, we're gonna call this one and this one as balanced as they're gonna get right now. And of these two, Honestly, I think I like the Sabre grind better. It's personal preferences. I know a lot of people like Scandi grinds. For me, Sabre grind is just easier to keep sharp in the field. I know, I know, I, I know, okay, that's another video. But for me, it is. Um, and I just like, I like it carving with it a little better. So um, that is the Odin Wolf W Mini. These things are under 20 bucks. Again, you can save 10% using SOP. 10 as a coupon code uh, and check out and get free shipping at odinwolf.com. And as you saw, they did excellent in the sharpness test, great in carving, um, great in striking. We've already been over all that. They also did 
marginally okay in the balance test. So if that matters to you, you plan on practicing a little bit more of it. Um, that's it. I really appreciate the folks at Odin Wolf sending me these knives so I can show them to you. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time.